Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Uh, I've been hearing a couple bloggers that are starting to talk about accountability. Um, and I think that's very important. Responsibility, accountability from black people to black people. So this is like an open but really closed conversation to y'all that live in uh, urban areas, inner cities, black and brown bodies, but more specifically black people. You know, we have a hard time taking responsibility for our behavior. And, and, and I, I got to address it. And I want to give a shout out to all of the uh, bloggers who have taken the responsibility, um, whether it's in a series, whether it's in one video, whether it's addressing it, however they address it. But it has to be said because I always liken this kind of behavior to I told you about um, one time I bought 400 chicks, right? Because I was going in my in my mind on my farm. I was going to grow all this chicken, and I was going to go out and really eat fresh. So we had went to the hatchery, and I got like 400 chicks, which was this is the first time I've ever did it. But you know, sometimes when you make decisions, when you have an altered state, you do all kinds of crazy stuff, right? So we decided we this trip, um, and I, I mean that literally, that we were going to go to a hatchery. And we were going to buy these 400 chicks. We was going to raise them. And instead of buying food, we were growing it out in the garden. And I was going to raise these chicks. So when we wanted chicken, we could go out in the yard and just break them off like they used to do back in the day when my mama was little. Right? And one thing I learned about growing those chicks, it was real cute. First, it was all good. I watched, you know, they were so cute and, you know, giving them the little, um, you know, food, the little feed and everything. But then one day I woke up and I had them in these mesh things. But then I woke up and I don't know what I did wrong because nobody ever told me how to care for them. I didn't know. So they started attacking each other. Just like, psh, psh, uh. And I was like, oh, my God. So I took the uh, mesh and I made them smaller and smaller, you know, not small, you know, separated. But it didn't matter. No matter how much I separated them, the ones I thought was fighting, they just start turning on each other. And whoever was weak was getting pecked down. And so I tried to even take the ones that was getting pecked down and put them by themselves so they could survive. They start pecking on each other. And I was like, oh, my God, I got a mess. So every day I was picking up dead chicks, right? Hmm. And what it showed me was that how fast... The virus spreads. The negativity spreads. It, it was just like a science, a nat uh, 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 an experiment in science. Like at Stanford University where they do all these human exper experiments and they'll put like rats in cages, right? And then they'll overcrowd them and watch them turn on each other and eat each other and bite each other and go crazy. And then, only then... Do they take these damn rats up out of this crowded condition and put them where they got space and try to allow them to um, forget about what we did to you earlier? We going to put you in some space now and then watch you be nice. But that's not what happens. They start biting on each other still because you created this. You socially engineered this type of behavior in these got darn rats, right? Well, I don't know why you think these people haven't done that to us. They've been studying us since we got off them ships. Or the ones they snatched up that was already here and made them slaves too. Like 12 years slave, all that. 
The point I'm trying to make is we have been turned upside down, inside out, stripped of everything that normal people have been, you know, our religion, our moral ways, our uh, language, everything, just like the Native American. And so we become this hybrid type of um, in the, uh, uh, African, right? Flash forward, you keep going on, you keep mistreating us, hanging us, whipping us, beating us. And we can't fight back because we want to whip your ass. We want to do to you what you're doing to us at some point, but we can't because we know that you will unleash your whole fleet, right, of violence and, and mayhem and artillery on us like you do the rest of the people all over the world who reject your oppression. We're aware of that. But what happens is it creates also in us just like those rats, some of us can't be tamed. No matter how much you put them in a beautiful environment, oh, they'll go and mess that environment up. They'll just start eating on each other, biting on each other, doing home invasions on each other, raping each other, doing all types of mayhem and disgusting evil acts to one another. And that's where we find ourselves that today as a group of people. And the worst part about it is we don't even want to take responsibility. We know we got we got people running through St. Louis right now in Milwaukee because they they about what seven uh, ain't that far? How many hours apart? Six hours, seven hours? I don't know. It's closer to Chicago, but what we got in the urban areas a lot is people just running down the street, driving eighty and ninety miles an hour because everything they see they, we so impressionable, almost childlike. So everything we see on the silver screen, we want to be. Now we got this thing where we riding through the neighborhoods, running people down, just fast and furious, riding on the wrong side of the street. We don't care what we do. There's no logic. There's no love. A lot of these kids were kids that this system put on this Ritalin and all these psychotropic drugs. Nobody want to talk about that. Y'all don't want to talk about how y'all gave y'all kids to the system to get a check. And they made you put them on that kind of shit. And now these kids are growing up and they crazy as bestie bugs. Nobody want to talk about that. You'd rather hide them. You would rather let him offend someone else than to deal with the, mass, the monster that you created on top of the monster that was created. How you set no rules, no limitations, and no boundaries in your families. And your kids is allowed to do whatever the fuck they want to. No discipline. Because you think they so cute. Especially your little boys that you put the little plaits in their hair and dress them up like the man you never had. Oh, we got some issues in our... Come on up in here, somebody. Who want to talk about it? Nobody want to talk about the real stuff because we always want to talk about white people and what they do to us. That's why they really trying to kill us. Low key. You know, they don't want us look, they're taking away our right to vote. Listen, if they feel that way about uh, what's the uh, Elijah Cummins and uh, 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 John Lewis. Who they sat there and work with every day, sat in the chamber with this dude, and they don't even want to pass the John Lewis voting rights bill. They don't even want to do a, 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 a police accountability so we'll stop being killed. Black people, wake up. Can't you smell the extinction in your nostrils? Huh? Maybe it's just me. Maybe, you know, maybe it's just me. But I smell it. Because we have become, like Willie Lynch said, self-perpetually miserable. We're miserable people. We can't even walk down the streets without looking, making sure we don't get ran over by a car from our own kids. Riding up and down the street, side streets, going 90 miles an hour, running over children, shooting them, having gunfights out in the middle of the neighborhood. Bullets going everywhere. 
And the white folks say ain't nothing they can do about it until they want to regentify that neighborhood and they want it back. And then that's when all the fuckery stops. If we don't care enough about our babies, then I put them in garbage cans and uh, do the things that we doing to each other, like shooting ourselves. Listen, I've lost three siblings to murder. I know what I'm talking about, y'all. We're self-destructing. And Willie Lynch said it. We don't got to worry about them. Negroes, they going to kill themselves. All the hatred we got, none of it is geared toward the people who have shown us so much hatred. It's all internalized. All internalized. How can that be? How come y'all quit to go kill another black dude? But you ain't going up against this system on nothing. You ain't trying to protect your community at all. Because you hate yourself. You hate the woman that bore you. Because as soon as you get a chance, you get a white woman. But you're so dysfunctional, you can't keep her. Right? We need to look in the man at the man in the mirror. And I heard a few podcasters that said some things, and this is what the catalyst of this conversation is. Um, one of them is the brother down in Georgia, and the other one is uh, the brother in New York. I can't think of their names right now. But they did pretty much uh, pod, uh, uh, shows with, I think, like gang members' mothers and, and telling them how they dropped the ball. Um. I've had videos that people have made comments about um, where I talk about how baby boomers have to have some accountability and responsibility to this, for this behavior. Every generation, every generation, male and female in that generation, have to take accountable for how the disaster, what we're looking and facing today. Our community is so out of control. White people ain't making us kill each other. It's a self-perpetuating hatred. So they can just stand back and watch the machine go. If you don't recognize that's what our problem is, then you probably you probably part of it. You want to say babies making babies? <coughs> All through time, girls have had babies early. Whether they were being molested. Or whether it just was. And it's still didn't give an account for the stuff we got running around in these streets today. I can't make no excuses for us no more, and neither can you. We have to be accountable for our behavior and our children and what we've unleashed on the universe. All right, thanks for listening, and I'll see you on the next video.